Hello, people. This guy is back. Is uh, well, the guy who's back. You see this? Oh, no, oh man, you can't. You ruined my backstory. Sorry. Get in my backstory. Uh, uh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Turn around, Mikey. Come on. Turn around. Here, Mikey Demas, Kindred. Awesome band. Awesome man. Weird ass flipped around guitar. Weird ass flipped around backwards guitar. Red beat effects. Why they're named like this? We literally have no idea. It's a mystery. I'm still trying to figure it out. Yeah. No. One morning you were like, mmm, red beard could be cool. I woke up like this one day. Really? Yeah, just out of nowhere. I looked like you before. And then I woke up one day and this happened. And now you're lucky and now I still look like this. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, of course, there is the everyone talked about red beard effects, red mist mark four. That's right, yeah. It's like, why not just red mist? Or why not just mark four? Why, where did that come from? Okay, so uh, that pedal was like five-ish years in the making. Had loads of other iterations of it before. So we had like three of them before that we were like, it's good, but it's not quite right. And we went back and went back. And then when it was Mark IV, we did the graphics for the pedal and it kind of looked Star Wars-y. So we were like, it's like episode four, like the first one. Ah, yeah, it's a little... So you knew it. Tip of the hat to George Lucas. <laughs> Nerd. Yeah, so yeah, that's why. There's three secret red mists out there somewhere that is sat in a, on a shelf somewhere going, why? So you're working with uh, Adrian Thorpe on that? Yeah, absolutely. And that's some of the best, I mean, his, his pedals are some of the best out there. And I'm not saying that because I like the guy, it's just true. I don't like the guy and I, I believe it. <laughs> no, 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 he's great and very fortunate that, you know, we partnered up with someone who really, really knows what they're talking about, knows their stuff in the whole pedal innards domain. And from an engineering point of view and everything, you know, we've sort of placed ourselves in a really good, good spot. So, um, Red Mist all done. The videos are out there. Uh, I have one, then Andy's got one, and then uh, Chris Buck's got one. And Chris Buck and mine are very similar. Like we don't, we don't get the fuzzy thing, but let's try it, and then we're having fun with it. It's just this brutal, thick wall of sound thing. It's it's very far away from, I would say, transparent. Oh yeah, no, it sort of turns a clean, timid amp scenario into a full-on, tubey, distorted, nightmare machine. That's the idea. It's good for, you know, big, heavy riff, massive bottom end, tightness. It's like the big-ass American truck version of a pedal. Right, exactly, yeah. And then, like, you're the little guy at the wheel going, uh, uh, uh. well, I'm the little guy at the wheel. <laughs> so, so, um, you have a Golden thing now. It's a golden thing. Golden gold mist mark five. Gold <laughs> mist mark five. This is the honey badger. They are evil. They're very evil. They don't give a beep. Can you swear? Flying fuck. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. And nor does this one. They have no uh, natural predator. They fuck everything up. They eat everything. They don't care. Yeah. That's what, why we named it that. Okay, so uh, oh, it's an octave fuzz. Your favorite. One of my favorite sounds in the world. Favorite. Let, impress me. Okay, so one side's a fuzz. That's almost a broken fuzz. Right, it gets from like, it'll do like a vintage muff kind of vibe down one end, and then it does like the big spitty amp fall into pieces, blah, sound on the other side. And it's got um, two band EQ, so you can, it's got treble and bass, so you can give it loads of harshness or dial that out or give it loads of- That's really just whatever. what you want. You want to spend a lot of money on a Rock of Mark uh, 50 yeah. Mark III yeah, yeah. to have like this really, really good classy amp to then make it sound really shitty and broken. Absolutely, that's the idea. Wouldn't it make sense to just buy a cheaper, shittier amp that just sounds like shit? Well, this will make that sound like shit too. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's got an octave mode on the other side, which goes between two octaves down and one octave down. And that's foot switchable and you can blend that in. Thusly.
big. That, that is all forms of disgustingly beautiful. That's the idea. It's got like monophonic, glitchy, analog awesomeness is what we were going for. Is the tracking jumping a bit here or there? Because, um, you know, you, you kind of want that for the disgustingness. Oh, totally. It's got all the weird disgustingness going on there. It tracks really well at some points on the neck and then it throws some unpredictableness. It works really well on bass as well and sounds great with a synth. Why would you encourage the bass players to use an octave fuzz? Because you can never go low enough, right? No, they're supposed to go in the board, done. I don't know. I've had a few bass players come through here and they're like, ooh. Yeah, yeah, the insane ones. Yeah, exactly. Well, we like the insane ones. And then I'm the mix engineer who's got to make that song work. And there's just that on bass and that on guitar. And then the singer goes like, where do I go? I'm like, nowhere. There's no LF for you, my friend. <laughs> Instrumental. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, um, we wanted it to be something that all different kinds of instruments could plug into and be crazy and weird and wild. Uh, it is, uh, if you're into the Octopus world, Sounds pretty naughty. I mean, you know, it's uh, in, in all good fun because I'm going to get hate. Oh, he's so, you know, he's insulting Mikey and why, why is he talking like that? Because we're friends. It's okay. And he gets it. I do get it. It's, no, all, it's no, banter. We call it banter. Yeah, and he'll still send me a pedal. It's all good. Yeah. You know. And you're going to love it as well. <laughs> <laughs> probably, yeah. probably. I have to spend some time with it. It's not, oh, no, it, it's... it won't reveal itself to me immediately. No, you need five minutes with it to go, ooh, find out what it likes, tickle it in right, the right spot. Do I need a P90 for it? Do you know what? I've not tried it with a P90. I don't have a guitar with a P90 in it. What but... are you gonna, you, where you were you now? Humbucker in the back? Yeah, humbuckers in both of them. So that's like a blade, sort of moderate to high output blade pickup, and this is a PAF kind of thing. But yeah, it tracks, it tracks, you know. <laughs> Tracks well in the neck as well. And then in the bridge it kind of gets a little gnarlier. A little bit gnarly in the, in the bridge. When is it going to come out? Um, they're available for pre-order right now, and they're shipping in mid-March. So, pretty much like two months ago, because this video is going to come out in mid-March 2020. So, they're probably available. No! But they're available for pre-order right now. You know what? This video is going to come out probably, I'm going to say, two to three days before my review comes out. Because oh, cool. cause then they're, you know, tied together. Right. Otherwise, we're, we're hyping them up next week, and then they're all like, oh, we, and then they can have it. Right. You know, let's, let's not disappoint them. Okay. You need it now. It's available now. Get it now. Well, right now, as you're watching the video, it is available. Yeah. It's just not available yeah. now. Yeah. Redbeardeffects.com. They're there. That's where you find them. You've heard it here from the man with the beard. And uh, all I can say is animals at the end. That's really all that's left. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>